right. Hello, welcome to Draves Archery at DravesArchery.com. I'm Jesse Draves. Uh, it's November 20th here in Illinois. I went out, I've been hunting this last week, and uh, not a ton of activity, but they've started moving around. This morning the does were on fire. It was a great hunt. There was a uh, little button bucks trying to push around does. A couple does came in with their tails all cocked up like they were in heat, stuck out the back, and uh, a couple other nicer bucks came by, smaller than this guy, but not little bucks, and I let them go, of course, let them grow a little bit, and uh, I actually ended up shooting the same buck last Thursday, grazed him, hit a branch kind of, grazed down through him, didn't make the greatest shot, of course, but um, he lived through it, and then he came through today, and I knew he was ready to hit once, so I put another one in him, and uh, shot him with these kill zone maxes, and they're two and three eighths inch cutting diameter with a great combination of the Bear Empire. I'm shooting a Bear Empire. I got, a, I got an 80 pound at Bear Empire and a 29 and a half inch draw. These big broadheads are awesome, but boys, they take some power to push them. And um, I, I highly recommend them, but you know, you need some draw link, you need a high performance bow, and uh, you need some pounds to push a hole through. But he was quartering quartering away from me here this is my entrance hole I'll flip him over you'll see I blew out his neck and there was a six or eight foot wide blood trail he didn't go but 60 yards and piled up um, hurt him pretty bad I knew I smoked him he had a pretty thin shot down through there about 35 yards away and um, it's just a great bow set up here I'm super happy with the performance of it um, it's deadly extremely deadly and uh, don't shoot a peep sight, just shoot the comfort kiss kisser button as you can see. Uh, that's, I've been bow hunting since I was eight years old, never hunted with a peep sight before. And um, got a great kisser button on there and that's basically all I need for a good anchor point. Uh, let me flip them over and I'll show you where I grazed them at the other day. These Maxima Reds, they're performing wonderful. The whole setup is just awesome. The bows are probably the quietest, definitely the quietest bow and nicest shooting bow I've ever had. So here's where I grazed them out on Thursday. And I blood trailed in for probably at least a mile. And it just kind of made me sick. I hate wounding deer and trailed them and trailed them and trailed them. And, and uh, unsuccessful, finally dried up. It just kind of upset me. But here you can see is where I blew out of them. And uh, they just put the hurting on in the day. There was no way he was going to make it, make it through that one, and he didn't make it very far at all. Whatever you guys need as far as hunting or uh, archery equipment, guys, you know, I just don't work on bows. I do go out and bow hunt. I've been bow hunting, like I said, since I was eight years old, climbing a tree, and um, it's, it's my passion. It's what I do. It's what I was raised to do, and I just, I just love the whole sport of it. Um, this is the most rewarding part, but you got to have your equipment working properly and um, It's very important. Don't ever blame your equipment guys. We can fix that uh, Mother nature and nature you can't fix but you know go out there with the best gear you can and uh, Be successful as you can be and and don't blame yourself or well just blame yourself and don't blame your gears What kind of what I'm trying to say I guess but Good luck hunting guys, Jesse Draves here again at Draves Archery, and uh, go out and knock you down a good buck.